Ah, nothing beats coffee. Hey everybody, it's Joe with Just Jeep It. How's it going? So today's video is going to be part two of the JK Big Brake Upgrade. So we already did the front brakes and I'll leave that link to that video. Uh, part two is today and we're going to be going over the upgrade you can do for the rear pads, rotors, and calipers. So like we did the JL for the front, the back brakes receive the Jeep Gladiator JT brakes. So the benefit of those brakes is it's still one caliper, but the piston's a little bit larger. The rotors are, a, what, that's really where the upgrade is. The rotors are a little bit bigger and they're vented. And you'll see the difference between the JK brakes, which are, it's that solid, solid rotor, non-vented, and they're not as big as the JT vented brake uh, brake rotor so um, again we'll we'll do what we did before in that other video we'll take a look at hold on i gotta get this motor started guys we'll take a look at the uh, the calipers we'll take a look at the rotors size comparison do some quick measurements and um, then we'll field test this so let's get this jeep up in the air and uh, start taking some parts off all right To remove the brake assembly, all you need is a half inch for the caliper bolts and 18 millimeter to remove the caliper bracket bolts off the axle. And uh, that's it. Two tools. Let's get it going. Look at the difference between the brake rotors on the JT and JK. That's pretty impressive, guys. So like we did before, we'll measure the diameters. <clears throat> um, the rotor hats are the same dimensions as far as the height and the depth. So um, when I bring you back to the uh, Jeep, I'll show you that it uses a uh, inner brake shoe for the emergency brake. It's not the uh, spring-loaded uh, brake caliper where you have to twist in the piston to get it to compress, which is really awesome. So the JT brake rotors are, oh, sorry. 13 and three quarters in diameter. Oops, dropped my tape measure. 13 and three quarters. And let's take a look at the uh, JK brake rotors. 12 and a half. So significantly larger. So the other, the other really key factor here is if you take a look at the JK brake rotor. It's a solid brake rotor, right? <clears throat> so that, that bad boy is going to get heated up. It's nowhere for the heat to go. Um, slotted, not slotted, sorry, vented brake rotor. There we go. Wow, that's really different. Jeez, pretty beefy. Now, again, you could say like, ah, you know, what's the big deal, right? You know, most of your braking power is from the front calipers. It's very true, but if you notice, the vehicle has four brakes all around, so the rear also does some braking too. So why upgrade with weaker, eh, not weaker, but why upgrade with stock stuff? Look at the brake pads, guys. JT, JK. Look at that. Also, I want to show you, hold on here, I'll show you the, look at this. So I was going to have a problem in the future anyway. I don't know, really don't know if you can see that, but thicker on this end, worn down to the, uh, the mounting surface. So I guess I had a brake kind of jammed in there, the caliper was hanging up, whatever, the piston was stuck. But um, yeah, when I got it inspected, they said it was time for re new rear brakes anyway, and they weren't kidding. Pretty old, right? So. Uh, it's no contest here, folks. Big old brake rotor, lots of more brake pad material. Little bitty brakes, does okay, but upgrade. So again, these are all from a Jeep Gladiator. Got these from Mopar Parts Direct, Mopar Giant. I'll put a link, I'll, I'll put the website right where I'm trying to stumble over what the website is. I don't know what it is. Uh, MoparPartsGiant.com. Um, Rock Auto did not have the 
calipers and all of the mounting brackets for the calipers because I guess it's, you know, how many 2020 um, JTs need new brake calipers, but they, Rock Auto had the brakes, the, road, the, the brakes, the brake pads and the rotors, but I had to go to the, uh, uh, the manufacturer for the uh, other stuff. But yeah, um, nothing to see here, guys. It is a sizable difference. So, so now that we've done the brakes and rotors, let's go on ahead and uh, take that caliper off and see what kind of magic we can find there. Wow. So here are the calipers. Now check this out. This is the manufacturer's caliper. It even has the word Mopar stamped on it. So that's pretty tricky. I love it. So for the rear calipers, both are still one piston calipers. But uh, I want to get in there with my little tape measure here, if I can find it. Hold on, here we go. And I want to measure the diameter of the actual caliper piston. Uh, can I get in there? Uh, look at this. What a hack. Oh, look at that. Uh, well, we're not going to measure it. We're going to do a visual. Thumb. Thumb. It's a little bit wider. Okay, so marginally, it's going to be a little bit bigger, the, the actual piston surface. But, I mean, visually, you can see it's bigger. But look at the difference between the caliper, the whole size itself. Man, that's nice. Look at the height, all right? So upgrading to the JT calipers, you have to get the JT brackets because it's going to sit that caliper up a little bit higher on the mount. So you can see, kind of visually see that the little ears are bigger. They're a little up from there, but same design really, um, just one's bigger than the other. So um, really impressed with this. Very glad I decided to, to upgrade to the bigger brake setup. So yeah, I'm very impressed. Can't get any more factory than that. Got the Mopar stamp right there, very nice. I do like factory parts. Um, they last a long time. So, oh, before I forget. So putting the, the slides in and assembling everything, um, when you get this set up, you have to put it together. Oh no, it's all dirty. That's not good. Can't have that. No dirt. Um, this is in my Amazon store as well, but um, it's part number 20354. It's Permatex. Instead of messing around with those little packets, uh, the packets are like a dollar or something. I think this is like seven, eight bucks. Uh, it has five ounces. I don't know. Is that enough? Is it not enough? We'll see. Uh, and then I also got some uh, new brass washers too. So I'll throw those in my Amazon store as well. But you want to do the job right, get the right parts, brand new washers. Got washers, got brand new washers, 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 and then uh, some ceramic extreme, extreme, extreme uh, brake parts lube. So, yeah, so let's mount these bad boys up and uh, see what it looks like. We'll do a, uh, we'll do a couple photos. We'll do a photo shoot with the old JT, JK, JL. Once we're done, this thing's such a crossbreed. Now here's the fun part: trying to remember. <laughs> what you installed so when you have to do brakes again you got to remember okay so the front brakes are from a 19 a 19 a 2019 jk or JT, jl and the rears are from a 2020 gladiator so probably a good idea to write all these parts down keep it in the glove compartment so you don't have to remember it um, the banjo bolts also are the same part number um, unfortunately uh, the i got new ones from um, rock auto but they're not here today, so I'm going to go with the old ones, and um, that's just the way it'll be. Uh, wanted to get new ones, but uh, the Gladiator banjo bolt and the banjo bolt for the JK, it's the same part number, so we should be good to go. So let's get these mounted up, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so let's get these beautiful JT Gladiator parts on this Jeep. So, Annie sees everything. Love the anti-seize. Anti -seize. Just a little on the face. Let it seize up on you. It does the opposite, does anti-seize. All right. Centering hub, perfect. Wow. <laughs> this thing's gonna stop on a dime. Of course, no towel or rag. I always do that. 
All right, so let's line up the caliper bracket. Just gotta find the holes. Oops, almost forgot. Yeah, it's getting warm out today. Jeez. Mounts on. Find that hole. Got the threads to catch. Remember, they're 18 millimeter. <clears throat> I know you can't see it, but just find the two bracket holes in the back. I gotta get a towel. Please hold. A little too much anti seize. Yeah, okay. Don't wanna cross thread it. These are coarse threads, so it'd be kind of tougher to cross thread, but still, you don't wanna make a one hour job, 12 hours. Definitely not. This one up. No, uh, no trimming of the uh, brake dust shield either. Like the front, we had to trim a little bit off. No trimming on the back shield, which is great. Oh, by the way, uh, mail came and uh, got the brand new banjo bolts too. Matched it up to the JK banjo bolt, same exact thing. So the JK, the JT, the JL all use the same banjo bolt, which is great. And I kind of figured that would be the case. Just nice to get confirmation. Oh man, that's sexy. Also nice, so nice. These bad boys lined up. Start one. There we go. Start the other. Uh, these brake caliper mounting bolts are 10 millimeter. Wow, these are huge. These are great. Oops. We'll attach that once we get this mounted. Oops, pardon me, sir. You want to over tighten these. Okay, everything moves nice and free. Man, that is awesome. I'm gonna stop real good now. Mounted, looks great. Check that out. Wow. Mm. All right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this on. 
hold on first. Let me stop this and I'll uh, bring you to the back so you can see the uh, actual brake hose getting attached, brake line getting attached. Only really goes on one way, so you can't mess it up. Put a brass washer on both sides of the brake block, and that will crush into place and make a tight seal. I'll put those washers in my Amazon store as well. I think for like 20 or 30 of them, it was like $7, so piece of cake. There you go, don't over tighten it to strip the threads out, but there she is. Clean, beautiful job, look at that. There she is. Hit that with a little, hit, jeez, uh, easy for me to say. Hit that with a little brake clean and uh, look at that. Installed complete. Brake job complete. All we gotta do is bleed the system and get some fresh brake fluid in there and we're good to go. Piece of cake, great upgrade. Big old brakes, better stopping power. Man, I can't wait to get this out on the road to give it a shot. All right, so we're back from the test drive, cleaned up all my tools. Overall impression of the rear JT brakes. Didn't really notice too much of a difference in stopping from the stuff that was there before, but I didn't really anticipate noticing like a huge major difference like I did when I went from the one piston caliper to the two piston caliper uh, JL brakes in the front. So, uh, but I, like I said, the, the brake pedal felt great, stopped really good, felt nice and solid, uh, bleeding the brakes, piece of cake, pedal was really, really solid, all the air is out of the lines. So uh, overall impressions, really happy with the upgrades to the factory uh, parts from the JT and the JL. So very excited about that. Um, was able to get a big brake upgrade for, to me, I think when I priced it out, I think it was about half, half the cost. So uh, in the comments, I will leave all of the part numbers that I used so you guys can look them up. So if you guys have any questions, just leave me in the comment box. Be happy to help. So uh, take care of yourselves. Ooh motorcycles are coming back. Take care of yourselves, take care of your Jeeps, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Take it easy.